Hello, and welcome to this tutorial for SanuScore, the Orchestra Complete. Our launch of the orchestra in 2017 was met with a lot of enthusiasm. The wish for a MIDI export came up more than any other request. It immediately jumped to the very top of our to-do list for a future update. The orchestra engine is a complex piece of software. It has been a tricky thing to make possible, but here we are. We finally made it. The MIDI export feature comes with both the Orchestra Complete and Sonoscore's Strings of Winter. This is how it works. When you open up the instrument in your DAW, you will find a little control panel in the top right, next to the Settings button. On its own, this doesn't do a whole lot. If you hover over it with the mouse, it will inform you that no MIDI is available to export. But you'll notice the second your DAW starts running and the engine receives MIDI data, the panel will indicate a recording in process. Now you can perform your idea, and the engine will capture the MIDI data generated by the ARPs and envelopes. When you stop the DAW, the panel has changed again, and as you hover over with the mouse, it lets you know that you can now drag and drop MIDI. The export will put the generated MIDI data for each slot of the engine to a separate track. This way you can quickly recreate the preset and continue working with the whole arrangement. But careful, if you restart the playback and the engine receives new notes, the previous recording will be erased and a new recording is created to export to your DAW. So let's see this in action and look at how this feature can help to flesh out an orchestral arrangement. After choosing an inspiring preset and modifying it to suit my needs, the process starts by choosing an interesting chord progression. I liked that, and now I want to spread it across the whole orchestra. Now that I played and recorded this progression, the MIDI data is ready to be exported. I'll drag this onto my template featuring all key switch instruments from the orchestra complete. This is the blank canvas. All the songs are out of the box, by the way. Because I already liked what the preset is doing, my first step is to recreate it. So I place each exported region to the original instrument. I add in the key switches for the correct articulation as well. All right. Now it should sound about the same as my sketch in the engine. The first thing I want to do is edit the lead melody in the horns to give it a longer, more interesting arc. I use the exported MIDI as a starting point and change a couple of notes and adjust the rhythm. Also, I put in some key switches for better phrasing and work on the dynamics in mod wheel and velocity to create a more musical performance. Let's move on to the rest of the orchestra. We're going to paint with very broad strokes first, not worrying about humanization or detailed editing. I want this melody to be more powerful, so I'll double it in trombones. This is where the consistency of key switches really comes in handy. To balance this out, we need to reinforce the other parts of the arrangement. I'm looking for a larger-than-life epic sound, so I will double the soul punt spiccatos in the upper strings with staccatos, and throw in the high Morin core ensemble as well. While we're at it, let's copy this to the trumpets and give it a dynamic ramp up. And the upper woodwinds are just sitting around, so they get the same thing as well. We only have two players per section, so I'll divide this chord up and shift it up an octave for flutes and oboes.
Next, we double the bass rhythm in the low brass, low Morincore ensemble bassoons, and timpani. So this is getting pretty close to the sound I have in mind, uh, but there's still room for improvement. So how about some choir? I'll copy the string rhythm one last time to the female staccatos and clean up the triplet rhythm to have them only sing the essential pulse of the phrase. They should not be singing the same syllable all the time, so I'll quickly draw in key switches for each note to cycle through the syllables. I'll give that to the male choir as well, an octave below. So here we are. Everything we hear so far has come from the performance of our animated preset, simply spread across the sections without a care in the world. Now we can go into detail to make the arrangement and programming sound more human and add a couple accents into the percussion. A few minutes later, this is where we stand. And there we have it, a complete orchestral arrangement almost entirely built out of the exported performance of an animated preset. We hope you enjoyed this video and we could give you an idea of the possibilities the new MIDI export feature holds for your compositional workflow. This has been Frank from SanuScore, and I'll see you next time.